Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the BEA number 10 TD900HH1. This is a transmitter is what it is. And let's start with dissecting the part number a bit, and this is what it looks like. It's a transmitter. TD, just T for transmitter, R for receiver, so a T means transmitter. It's 900 megahertz. It's a HH handheld one button unit. That's what we've got here. This is powered by a three volt battery. There is an image down below of that battery. I've got the, I have the two screws removed from the back to show you the inside of the unit, and that's where the battery just simply clicks out of. I'm going to put this back together. Um, when you are working with wireless components, the most important thing is to first match the frequency. Uh, there's 433 megahertz, there's obviously 900 megahertz, uh, 300, 390, uh, which was discontinued uh, years ago. The Probably the 433, and I can't tell you why, but 433 megahertz seems to be more common in my experience. Okay. Now there's not a lot to talk about in terms of this transmitter because everything is done on the receiver. There is a link below this video to the, you know, what would be the manual uh, for this material. But there's not much to do. What you need is this manual in order to help you determine how to program the unit. And that is literally done on the receiver itself. So basically when you open the receiver for uh, programming, you, and it's just like a garage overhead door, push the button, it will go into reception programming mode. When you depress the button, it will learn the code and that will be how that works. Um, assuming that you have a 10 RD900 receiver, option of programming it with either a standard or a delay sort of function, where in a delay scenario, pushing the button will allow the unit to, the receiver, to power whatever you're powering with a continuous um, <laughs> signal for the duration of that delay. Obviously, typical operations would be non-delay, but there could certainly be applications where you would want a delay. You might want to power something for a particular amount of time, and then upon that signal dropping out, it will then um, fall back to its natural state. Think of possibly an application might be like an electric deadbolt uh, where you want to be able to unlock that. Door will open and the door will close. You might want to delay there before the um, lock will then become fail secure where it will then relock based on the delay time, meaning get the door closed. It might be better to do that with a door position switch uh, so that you simply know when the door is closed and then you will relock and do that without a delay. Um, the you do have to program the receiver for uh, delay or not or or, or no delay, uh, and that's done on the dip switches. You can have a pulse or a toggle. Uh, press on a pulse in dip switch one. Pressing the transmitter activates the relay according to dip switches two and three. Uh, so. Dip switch two, you will set to either off or on for a half of a second hold time or a 10 second hold time. Uh, and a toggle relay in dip switch one, if it's on, pressing the transmitter once activates and holds the relay indefinitely until you press the transmitter again. Um, in dip switch three, you can uh, operate this in either a standard hold or an extended hold, and in that point, in that uh, situation you have the potentiometer that's there so basically a volume knob uh, and that will allow you to control from 1 to 30 seconds your uh, delay time the point of the matter is you need to press the appropriate button with or without a delay um, and once you are once you've opened the unit based on your delay or not or no delay uh, you then press the button on the transmitter twice that will learn give you a blue indicator on the receiver, uh, uh, confirming that you are now paired and matched. Unprogramming of the transmitters is also listed in the um, information as well. This handheld is available in different button configurations. 
and it's literally listed on the front of the documentation. One button, two button, three or four button can all be done in the standard series right here. So HH1, 2, 3, or 4. You might simply have different items that you want to uh, work as you transit through a space. You might have vestibule doors. You might just simply have different doors that you don't necessarily want to have multiple transmitters. You have just one with three buttons on it, let's say. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the BEA products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the BEA 10 TD900 HH1, I'll give you some dimensional properties, two and three quarter height, inch and three eighths wide, thickness about, an in, about uh, nine sixteenths. That keychain is probably a seven eighths size keychain. Yeah, indeed it is. Any questions on the 10 TD900 HH1 or any other BEA product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.